G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode where we're going to take a look at Microsoft Lists and how we can create a new list from an Excel spreadsheet. So Microsoft Lists, new application that's rolling out uh, to Office 365 at the moment. Let's dive in and have a look. So Office 365 start page, we've got the new icon here called Lists. We click on lists and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new list. So we're going to click on the purple button here and we're going to choose from Excel. Now the good thing about this is what it's going to do is it's automatically going to read from my OneDrive for Business or I can upload an Excel document. Now I've got an Excel document in here that I'm going to use and it's called Survey Results. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click next and then it's going to step me through the process. Now this particular document doesn't have a table identified in this document. So what we can do here, which is a nice little touch, we can add a table in Excel directly from here. So we've got a button to open this and it's gonna open up that uh, spreadsheet directly in the browser. Now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to select our cells, as you can see here from the second step, select our cells. Then we wanna select, um, click format as table. So we're gonna come over to here and I'm just gonna select format as table. I'm gonna use the, the table as headers, the first line, sorry, as headers, and we are good to go. And then after saving, which is automatically done, we're gonna hit refresh and let's see what happens now. Okay, click the refresh button. And that does not seem to have done anything. So let's go back again. Let's hit refresh. And we are now ready to go. All right, so it's picked up the table now and we can um, assign these with uh, different columns. So we can see here, the title is going to be the is part is going to be mapped to participant. Age group is going to be a single line of text. Okay, um, the gender is going to be a single line of text. We might change this to choice. Okay, it's either going to be male or female. And then we've also got the package selection. We might choose this as choice as well. We're going to click next. We can name our list, give it a description, give it a color, uh, give it an icon. And we're just going to save that to my list. Now, when you save it to my list, it's going to save it uh, to your OneDrive for Business. Okay, not to a SharePoint site, but it's going to be part of your OneDrive for Business. Let's create. Um, let's create this now. Oh, okay, so here we can see that the site does not allow site designs. So, what we're going to need to do, which is interesting, is we're going to need to set it to a SharePoint site. Okay, so let's do that now and we're gonna create that and let's take a look at the results, all right? So it's gonna go off and create that. Because I've set it to go to um, the SharePoint site, what's gonna happen now is that that's, that list will be created as part of that SharePoint site. And you can see here in the URL, okay, that we've got that list now in this particular site. And we'll jump onto the site and we've now got uh, the survey results, which should I oh know which should be somewhere. Survey results. Maybe we didn't select to put it. Let's have a look in the site contents here, and we do have survey results there. We just it's just not showing in the navigation, which is fine. We can open that up into uh, inside the SharePoint site now, but we also do have access to that now from the Lists app. So if I jump back onto the Lists app here, we've now got this uh, list that is on my recent list item in my little dashboard here. So I click on survey results, I then have access to that list. I've also got it as part of that SharePoint site. So interestingly enough there, you can't, uh, it looks like that you can't create uh, an Excel, uh, a list from an Excel document um, that's part and saved to your My Lists. So something to watch out for, if you're going to create a list from, a, from an Excel document, it must be saved to the SharePoint site. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.